back is the foot that tends to grow more heel and grows more upright and that sh shoulder tends to be less developed on that side and so you can see in the picture the left shoulder of this horse actually has a bulge or either some swelling or more muscular development on that side and if you look real closely at the at the line of the mane and the backbone things aren't aren't real closely aligned and sometimes when I take these pictures which I seem to have a lot of them anymore because there seems to be more and more horses like that it's very hard to get the horse's neck and head straight in the picture and I'm always saying well get that horse's head straight I want a good picture but it's very difficult to do that and I don't know if that's because a lot of these horses need chiropractic adjustment or if it has to do with their development or both okay so here's a little bit more mild case same kind of condition the left side is more developed than the right side you can see that the mane lays over more typically to the lower or less developed side and this horse it just sort of slopes off and drops off where the other side actually has more muscular development and again this horse more naturally takes a left-handed lead than a right-handed lead and so probably the solution for this horse is to spend more time working to the right and developing that side. Here's a picture of the feet off of, off, off of that same horse. You know, at, at first observation, they look pretty close to the same. But when you study them a little closer, the foot on the left side of the picture has a lower angle to the heel, and the foot is actually slightly longer and bigger than the foot on the right-hand side, which the heel grows more upright. They have about the same length of the heel, but the angle of the heel is much different. And it seems like the side that has the withers that are less developed tends to be the side that grows more heel, almost like the foot is compensating for that side being shorter or less developed. And we see that very, very commonly. And more times than not, the feet are the result, not the cause. So unless we fix the other issues, the feet are going to continue to grow unevenly. Okay, here's another picture. This is a horse I did about a week ago. Um, again, you can see that the left side, and ironically, more times than not, the left side is more developed. So I don't know if that has to do with our training practices or just more horses are naturally left-handed, but you can see the bulge or the swelling on the left side of the withers over the scapula, and on the right side it drops off. And again, the mane, at least in that area, lays to that side. And so then when you look at the pictures, the left foot is lower heeled, which matches the, that side being more developed, probably because that foot is being used more. And then the right side grows more heel and is slightly narrower. Okay, so here's a picture of the same, same horse after the horse has been shod. And I showed the, a front view of the, the feet this time, and you can see by the foot that's in the right side of the screen, which is because we're turned around now, the horse's left front foot, how much wider and more developed um, it is because it's being probably used more than the right foot. What we decided to do on this horse was a little bit different. We actually want it to stimulate use of that side and to try to even the shoulders up. And so rather than actually wedging up the low heeled side, we actually added a, a pad or a, a, we used a pad in this case, you could use a thicker shoe as long as it really didn't change the weight of the horse and actually add it length to the foot that was narrower, higher heeled and had the lower developed side. And you can see the impact that that's had on the, on the shoulder on that side. It's actually caused that side to have some development or shape to it. And even though it's not perfectly symmetrical, it's actually going to maybe force that horse to use that side of its body a little bit more and in the exercise program as it warms up and we start riding these horses more they'll take a little extra caution to do more right hand at work than left hand at work which will help develop that side um, we decided to go ahead and pull clips on the shoe to help help hold the um, shoes on this horse and it's it's worked out quite good this is a little different than what it seems like we should do we've kind of always been trained that we should make these feet match in angles but i think that would be exactly the opposite in fact we slid a wedge pad under that left front foot the bigger foot and then i asked the owner to 
look at the horse and look at the withers and see if it had a positive impact. And in fact, it made the withers more out of alignment by doing that. So we're actually encouraging the, f the feet to be mismatched so that we can actually even up the shoulders.